Have you ever seen birds perched on a high voltage electric wire like it's no big deal? Why on earth would they choose such a shocking place to sit? Let's see why birds sit on electric wires. First, why don't birds get instantly electrocuted? The electricity flowing through the wire follows the path of least resistance, which is why birds sitting on a wire remain unharmed. When a bird is sitting with both feet on the same wire, the electricity is not going to take a detour up one foot and down the other. It bypasses the birds and leaves them safe on the wire. Problems can arise if the bird is big enough to touch the wire and the pole at the same time, or to touch two different wires. Suddenly, the bird becomes a path to a different electric potential. The electricity flows through the bird, causing injury or death. This was a serious problem for the recovery of the California condor, because they are large birds that can touch two wires with their wings. This is also why you should never try to sit on a wire like a bird. You're large enough that you can accidentally become the path for electricity to move from the wire to another object. So why do birds sit on electric wires? One reason is the shape of the electric wires. They're thin and cylindrical like a branch, allowing birds to easily grip them with their feet. If you observe the natural curl of a songbird's perching foot or a swallow's foot, you'll see why wires are an excellent place to sit. Another advantage of electric wires is the elevated position they offer. Birds sitting on these wires have a better vantage point to survey their surroundings. The wires provide protection from terrestrial threats like cats or small mammals that may struggle to reach them. Some people say that birds perch on electric wires because the wires are kind of warm. I don't think this is a major factor because birds already have heat-conserving circulation in their feet. If they're just trying to get warm, then a wind-exposed wire is not as helpful as a sheltered spot in a tree. But the wire remains an excellent perch for the other reasons we've discussed. Some birds that naturally nest on tall trees have adapted to using power poles for nesting. This can be a risk for them, because if they touch the electrical components, they can be electrocuted. But some power companies are trying to help by installing nesting platforms on the poles, providing a safe alternative location for nesting. Next time you see some birds on a wire, you'll know why they're up there, and why they're not fried by all the electricity. There is so much more to learn about birds on this channel, so you can subscribe. You can also support this channel on Patreon or as a channel member. Thanks for stopping by to learn what makes life awesome.